All right, in this section, we'll download the add-on profile. We'll download the add-on instruction. And we'll configure the Compact Logics processor with the MVI 69 MCM. And we'll download the project file in RS Logix 5000. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, so open up your favorite browser. I'm going to use Internet Explorer. And then go to www.prosoft-technology.com. On the left-hand side, we'll go to our menu bar. We'll go to Products. Rockwell Automation, Platform, Compact Logics, and then down to Compact Logics, and then we'll choose Modbus Master Slave Communication Module. And I'm going to click on MVI 69 Add on Profile. We'll click Save. So I'm going to browse to the folder and I'm going to extract it. And I'll just extract it here for now. And then I'll go into the folder and then I'll run mpsetup.exe and it's a quick little install and it basically installs the add-on instruction or the add-on profile rather for RS Logix 5000. So we'll click on next. I'll choose accept the license agreement. Click on next to install and then I'll click on next to complete it. On the left here we can expand it just to see. We can click on MVI 69 just to see that it is the MVI 69 family. So I'll click next and then finish. And then on this screen, I'm going to uncheck this because I don't need to see the release notes. So I'll click OK or finish. And now we'll download the add-on instruction. So I'll click on that. We'll click save. I'll put it in this folder here. And I'll close that. And now we're ready for RS Logix. So now let's go ahead and open up RS Logix 5000. I'm going to click on the new button, create a new controller, and I'm using RS Logix version 16, and I'll give this new controller name. We'll choose MVI 69 MCM. And you can give it a description if you want. I'm going to choose no for I'm not going to give it a description. So I'll go ahead and click okay on this. Now let's go to our compact bus local. We can right click, we'll choose new module. Now if we expand communication, we'll see that the MVI 69 family is listed. So we'll expand that. We'll click on MVI 69 and we'll click OK. Now we'll give our new module a name. I'm going to just give it an MVI 69 MCM. And here's where you would choose the slot number. And if you did want to change the I.O. size, you can reference the manual and it'll go through all about changing the I.O. size. It's pretty simple. For now, I'm going to leave it on 60 in and 60 out words. So we'll click OK on that. Now I'll open up my main task, go into my main routine, right click, choose import rung. Now we'll import the add-on instruction that we downloaded previously. So I'll click it, we'll click on import, and here's all the different UDTs that it's going to import as well as here's where you'd want to change the slot number. So I'm using slot 1 so local colon 1 is good for me. Okay we'll click OK. Now I'll delete rung 0. And looks good. So now what I'm going to do is I'll download this project. So I'll click who active and that is my IP address. I want to make sure I don't download to someone else's CPU. So we'll click on download. And once the download finishes, I'll place the processor in run. Now I'll go up to the controller tags just to verify everything's looking good. I see I don't have any IO lights flashing. So I think everything is running as expected. So we'll go into the controller tags. We'll go to the MCM tag and then status and then we see the pass counter counting. That tells me that the module is actively communicating to the processor and vice versa. So at this point we've downloaded the add-on profile, we've downloaded the add-on instruction, and we've downloaded the project. So now what we'll do, we'll go into ProSoft Configuration Builder and we'll configure our various Modbus ports to communicate with different slaves as well as configure one of the ports to actually be a slave so a master can communicate with it. So let's go and do that now.